Okay, so the time is 11.30 and I have a day off today. So I'm gonna go to the gym with my friends. But I'm going fasted, so it requires some pre-workout. Don't get me wrong, I've never tried this pre-workout before, but my cousin brought it over. So why the fuck not? I'm gonna take one scoop. It's just a bit weird, I can't really tell the caffeine in this, so I might be awake for the rest of my fucking life. Wait, let me try and get you the macros. Fuck, the macros, what am I talking about? The ingredients. Macros. So used to filming the back of food. Okay, that's uh, some proprietary shite, but I'm gonna give it a shot. We are on the road to Monster Gym. Pre-workout starting to kick in now and 12 minutes away. 11 actually. <laughs> this is Ben Us. Ben, to you. Yes, yes. Pre-workout's kicking in. Why the fuck is it so zoom? You know my camera's actually a piece of shit. I used my brother's one for a video recently. And there is my cousin. Say hi cousin. You cannot afford it. He's six foot eight. And 125 kilos. Okay, this is my beast of a cousin. Six foot fucking eight. And there's my trustworthy Eastern European friend. His name is Ben Ass. Ben. You can find him on Instagram as Ben Aesthetics. Ben, how do you spell that? And grind it. <laughs> grind it out on a daily basis. <laughs> do you know what grinder is? I'm surprised you even have grinder. <laughs> Dom. Okay, we're at Monster Gym now. Gonna get a chest workout and the pre-workout has kicked in like a motherfucker. I feel quite high actually. Monster Gym, hi! So here we begin the workout. Obviously looking in the mirror like a bunch of vain bastards. Tensing, Ben sizing up his weights. We did one, well, two more upsets before this on like 25 kilos, 20, and then, yeah. We just done a few dynamic stretches. Then Ben picks up the 60 kilos and he said, he is going in for it. So I thought, you know, do it because we don't have these heavyweights in our gym. Well, we do, we get, they go up to like 50s now, but not 60s. First time he tried it and pushing away. Looks like he dealt with it very comfortably. So he's just maxing out his sets. You can see his chest is really working here. A lot of people are gonna say his elbows aren't in. I do always try and tell him to put, pull his elbows in, but he still manages to get quite good press on this because you know we're, we're like if you can see his chest it's like fully in, in motion and Ben's shoulders are ridiculously strong so I think that does help him with his bench press quite a fair bit okay now he's just being a vain bastard we actually took a few shots here because he wanted it for his Instagram so yeah I thought why not and now Dom picks up the 45s he weighs a lot more than Ben, but as you can see, Ben is a lot more developed. And Dom does play rugby, so he doesn't always lift heavy weights. He usually goes light, like lots of reps, but yeah, the 45s. I mean, 45s still a good, well, in my eyes, it's still a good press. He was pressing it well, keeping his elbows more in than Ben, but I still wanted him to keep it in a little bit more, but yeah, he wasn't listening. Naughty boy. But yeah, then I went on to my set and I pulled my elbows in as far as they went. But this is actually, as ridiculous as it looks, it's actually a PR for me. 45 kilos, I know I weigh 100 kilos. But yeah, I've got long ass arms. So is Dom, so that's our excuse really here. But yeah, it felt really good. I really felt the pump on the chest at this point. And then we went on to like this hammer tone push press and this was like this forces you to keep your elbows in look at look at Ben's elbows they're like they're like ideal and then they when you push in your elbows turn back out this is like uh Dom stop yawning fucking hell but yeah Dom was mirroring he was like commenting on Ben's striations in his chest and we both agreed that for 21 Ben has a fucking developed chest 
and Dom went on to bang out his set. Not a bad chest for a, uh, just a rugby boy, hey? But yeah, he was pressing away, and yeah, he really enjoyed that as well. But I kind of like, this was my first set, and I, well, first proper set before the after the warm up. I was kind of suggesting that we arch our back a tiny bit and lean, but like push our feet a bit forward so we can get more of the press on the chest. I found this a hell of a lot better, and we did this for the rest of the set. And just you can see, I was like maxing the shit out of this, utilizing the pre workout. Then we went on to a high rep movement. These seated flies, I've really found these were truly amazing. Got a serious stretch at the, uh, the base of it and then could really pull in the muscles at the end. So we did three sets of that. And there's Dom doing his three sets. So by this point, this is, this would, when we have completed this, we would have done nine sets in total. And this, we done three sets of the incline bench and the hammer tone. This was, again, unreal, but very easy to use your shoulders so we kept the shoulders back and Dom stopped mirroring and Ben yeah, you can see look at his chest really really working there I find these a great 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 well a great exercise in general because you, as you can see you can really push your chest as long as you pin your shoulders back because otherwise it can turn into a seated shoulder press very easily I mean it's not designed for that but I think um, just one of those machines you know don't do it properly, you're going to feel it in the wrong place. But yeah, we all felt it heavily in our upper chest. But then again, I did, I put my foot, feet forward a bit more, the feet together, and I seriously felt this burn in my upper chest. I tucked my elbows in slightly, even though it's inclined. I, that's just how I like to press. I find it does really give you that extra boost. And I pause for maybe a second at the bottom, just try, trying to, you know, explode up as fast as possible supersetted it with press ups well one or two press ups done three sets so that's 12 sets of chest in total three different exercises no four different exercises three sets and here we done some biceps some preacher biceps like again hammer tone don't have this in my gym but like Dom really enjoyed this we went for like under 10 reps for this but we just really got the whole bicep area pumped to shit. And I went wide grip because I find that my inner bicep actually is probably slacking. I like a more thick, uh, well, I want more thick bicep. So I went in on this. You can see the pump, the blood rushing through my veins. And this is the second exercise for biceps. We done in in a hammer in a hammer curls, and yeah, the pump from this was immense. And then again, oh, what the fuck's Ben doing? Taking stealing my shot. But yeah, the pump and the, just the overall feeling of this, it's insane. And this does target the inner head of the bicep again. I do focus on the thickness. Obviously, it does work the whole bicep muscle, but I just find it transfers to the inner bit more remember keeping those shoulders back but with Dom he's six for eight bit harder for him to keep his shoulders back the boy's used to bending over a lot cut him some slack not in that way by the way I mean at six for eight you're looking down on a lot of people but yeah we did three sets of that as well and then on to an exercise Dominic called 100s so we did 10 sets of 10 but we chose a weight and then we kept that. Well, the other person would put it down at the end of each 10 reps, if you know. Yeah, like that, exactly. <laughs> but you know, it was a really good burnout movement. I mean, this and 21s, that sort of thing. I just find general, like, really good uh, burnout moves. And yeah, I had to get involved at this point. He completed his 100, and it was my turn. But I focused on keeping my elbows in, just the whole body tight, and then just raising the arms slightly as you can see at the top motion, just to bring the hands more to the shoulder area because your bicep does extend that far up. So why not take it through its full range of motion? See at the bottom, I extend out fully, and at the top, I try and get that full feeling. I'm telling you, 
by the second set my biceps were burning so we completed the full amount in the end but it was hard then finally abs Ben was doing like th kind of throwing his legs up with the leg raises kind of corrected him and told him to just bring it a fraction away up but really draw the lower abs in he loved it as you can see by his face <laughs> But yeah, it's a hell of a lot more effective. If you just look, watch my legs now and bring it in a fraction the way up. Just a fraction, just enough to really feel the lower, lower abs. Don't swing and bring in the lower back and potentially damage the lower back if you're actually swinging too much. We don't want that drama. No, no, no. And yeah, just done as many as I could really, aiming for the 10 to 15 mark. And yeah, just really focusing on bringing it in. Then Russian twists to finish it off. These Russian twists are the, on a decline bench. I find this to be quite effective. You just fixate yourself in that position, just tensing the abs and just twisting with your obliques, not really focusing on so much with your arms and your hands and the ball movement, but focus on throwing it side to side with your obliques. This was Ben's. This was Ben's turn, but yeah. He kind of raised up a little bit, but yeah, he still felt it a great deal, and he loved it. Okay, so we just finished a gym session. We're out now, going to the car park. Good Ben, they're, not, they're walking like they just worked out. Walking like true gym users. Yes. Look how fucked my face is. I haven't even eaten for maybe 14 hours now. Whoa. By the way, the pre-workout was fucking sick. I don't know if it was good or bad, but I just feel fucking energized, pumped to shit. Didn't really expect that to be honest, but yeah, homie. And by the way, this beard, it's kind of just a side effect. Side effect of watching Vikings. What are I looking like? Yeah. Very nice. How much? Let's go and eat, boys. Here we go to Jim's kitchen. That's never going mad on this one. I just tried to record something that didn't record! But anyway, the whole point is, we said there's a, definitely going to be a fit girl in that Fiat 500. And this is London for you. No, not London. England. If someone's driving a Fiat 500. You say London. She's going to be fit or he's going to be gay. Not that I have a problem against gays, but that's just how it works. <laughs> that's just how it fucking works! But yeah, um... Pre-workout still hasn't worn off. Pre-workout rage. Yeah. Ben is driving and he hasn't, he's only had a banana and an orange. Exactly, pre-workout rage. We've invented a new thing. Although someone probably called their pre-workout rage, I've seen that shit before. It's quite quiet around here. I think everyone's spending good family time. Yeah, compared to London. This is just outside London. Chessant! Chessant! So if you're coming to London, the best tourist advice is, if you're gonna perv on girls in cars, look out for the Fiat 500. My cousin's very quiet. He thinks he's hard. Useful customer advice. Okay, I think we're doing 80 miles an hour. It feels like fucking zero. Yep. Start moving. It combined. Down the hill. What, what's the combined weight in this car? It's three. No, three fifteen. He's 120. 200. 125. 225. In pounds. in pounds. Fuck me. 300. About 700 pounds. It's more than that. What? Oh no, it's, yeah, it's about seven, about 700 fucking pounds in this car. And we it's two o'clock. My my fitness pal is empty. I've had no food. Not even a protein. Okay, so my fucking bitch ass six foot eight cousin's gone into Tesco's Express. It's time to get some water. To, f to actually drink the protein shake, finally. I'm not so keen on downing a protein shake straight after. But, you know, whatever. Kinda need this protein by now, it's been about 40 minutes. I don't want to get yeah, random people on the camera. Me, and, uh, I think we're okay. But, but, he goes into Tesco to buy some water. What do you come out with? Show me. Water. Show me, show me what you come out No, there's a bag full of shite. Show me, show me what. Oh my God, I can, can show I me. Plantain okay. chips. Plantain chips, he thinks he's African. Um, go on. Fruity biscuit what shop. Fuck it, we're about to go to eat. What the fuck is that even? It's a starter. Are you a starter? Are you this is what you are when you're 100 chocolate shop. Okay, that's, that looks pretty There's cool. one each for those. What is it? Is it 
this my food? Grape soda. Or? Okay, you are. Okay, my, my cousin's turned Jamaican. Are you sure he's. Pineapples. <laughs> my cousin's turned Jamaican. 100%. Are you sure he's your cousin? Yep. We don't buy this sort of shit. <laughs> nah, Why but. people don't buy this sort of shit? Yeah, I know. My brother, on the other hand, who is black, he does buy this shit. My brother's practically Jamaican. Just so you know. No racism at all, my nephew is mixed race. And TC. It's full. And I finally got to try this protein shake. This actually tastes like chocolate milkshake. Synthos 6. It's a bit higher in the sugars. But I'm telling you now, it's fucking amazing. It's unreal. If you're for taste. Okay, now I've got these as well. My cousin thought it'd be funny to buy me some milk. Little snack that I didn't ask for, but why not? 92 calories. Berry and a white chocolate snack. I should eat it. It's only 92 calories and I need the sugars right now. Hey, we are related now. And if this camera will zoom, we are in Jim's kitchen. And yes, we do have this type of stuff in London. Are you hungry, boys? No. You're not hungry? I'm starving. Yeah, that's the right answer. Time out. Jim's kitchen, Leighton. They do the best lamb chops. I'm not going to get lamb chops here. Wall of Fame. Some nice quotes for you. They don't take that. Only cash. We all the first, isn't it? Oh, that's right. Oh, yes. Why would we order? Oh, yeah. Do you want to order first then? Take a seat. Okay. Take a seat, boys. What's it here? Okay, Ben got his fucking food first, so lucky fuck. You got the chicken burger. The lean chicken burger, the whole meal bun. Is that a whole meal bun? It better be a fucking whole meal bun. Purple coleslaw. Ben, I don't know who ordered asparagus, but. They're from Dom. Dominic, you excited for asparagus? Some gains coming to us. Gotta get the vitamins. The holy grail of gains. Really good. It's good, yeah? What's that sauce? What's that hot sauce? My food doesn't come soon, I'm gonna cry though, I'm not gonna lie. This is one of his first meals of today, and oh my god, man, he's coming here as well. The whole chicken is yeah. his. <laughs> Obviously. <laughs> Jesus. Sweet Jesus. Oh, mine looks better though, let's face it. Thank you that looks like some real good chicken. That's baby, eh? Enjoying it? You're gonna enjoy that. That's a, that's a Viking meal. That's a Viking meal, boy. Okay, this is my. I went, I went with the chicken. I went with the apple crunch pancakes, which I'll show you. And some spicy rice, which needs to hurry up. Oh, it's coming as well. Spicy rice is coming. Uh, spicy rice and halloumi's for him. <laughs> Everything's for him. Why not? <laughs> and you got some halloumi on top. Jesus, you're a beast. And you had your plantain chips. How do you feel? Do you feel all. What do you think you are? You're some white boy and you're trying to get, get all ethnic with your halloumi, your plantain chips, your. <laughs> is that really good, yeah? This is the. You're, you're making. <laughs> you're actually making love to that burger, Ben. This is the slowest I've ever seen you eat. Must be good. I'm gonna tuck in now. Let you know how it is. Okay, the pancakes came. Yours is a banana and chocolate crunch. With a side of peanut butter. What? Well, it's better to be not not little. Be some skippy. Thing. Okay, wait. There's this tower of pancakes. It's not quite a tower. It's more like a collapsed tower. But still, this looks is good. Amazing. This is good. Okay, now mine. You got what? 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 Um, things are those? And now mine. My pancake. It's an apple crunch. And there's my peanut butter. What do you say? Uh, record. Let's record. Take a picture, you oh. motherfucker. Press the top button. Three. The silver one. Wait, which one? That one. one. Yeah. Three, two, one. Sorry? Modern language. Because the food was so nice, I topped it off with a green smoothie, and my bitch ass cousin topped it off with a berry smoothie, which he's got in his hand. They also have a loyalty scheme. We're gonna get a next free smoothie yeah, next buddy. time. Okay, so we're gonna say goodbye to Leighton for a long time. Yeah. I'm not coming back here unless I'm gonna get some Jim's Kitchen. No and I might go. I might come back right blindfolded. Here. We'll take it in turns to come back blindfolded. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> kind of need to. Goodbye, Leighton. Not to depress ourselves to death.